Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today's video is going to be about how to improve your S300 exhaust housing, particularly for a twin application. Uh, if you're doing it like I'm doing, where you're going to take the waste gated energy off of this turbo and dump it in to feed the big turbo. It's one of the nicest things about these S300 exhaust housings is they are dual waste gate ported, which is somewhat unusual in small frame turbochargers. Usually they'll just waste gate one side. And while that does reduce the turbocharger speed, it uh, doesn't help the cylinder pressure that's on the ones that aren't waste gated. So you wind up with, on a six cylinder, you got three cylinders running at a lot higher exhaust drive pressure than the other three cylinders, which is not particularly good for head gaskets or engine components. So this setup with the dual gates alleviates that problem and balances it all out. Uh, these have fairly small ports in them to begin with because they're not looking to flow a bunch. They just need enough bleed off you know, it's the size for the engine application and power application uh, to run in a stock situation, not a whole bunch of fuel. So if you want to throw a whole bunch of fuel at one and run it way past where it belongs, then improving the gates is well worth doing. So what I got here is I'm going to start with a half inch drill bit and I'm biasing this so that as the exhaust comes in, it will easily be able to make the turn and come out through the gate. So i um, keeping it in the flow direction. If it has to make a square sharp turn, uh, it's not nearly as efficient. So I'm gonna try and open these up a little bit. Of course I had to uh, drill the end of the lever off because it's welded together from the factory. There's no way to get the lever off without drilling it off. So I drilled it off and pulled the guts out of this. So I'm going here and open these two holes up. So I'm gonna fire the mill up and I'll punch these holes.
and can see that's a big difference in the size of those ports. So I should let a lot more exhaust gas be able to bypass the turbine. And that'll make this thing easier to control. Keep the boost down. And hopefully I'll be able to get a nice drive pressure to boost ratio. So by going from 7 16 ports to uh, 5 8 ports, I've doubled the cross-sectional area there flow-wise, so this might theoretically be able to flow twice as much as it could before as long as these valves will get out of the way enough to let the air through. And I've got the area diesel plate that bolts on here. So area diesel makes this 3 8 plate. Yeah bolts on here like this and allows this gate to open another three-eighths of an inch. Just like that. So you get that much versus normally you get that much. So that's a big difference on this inside which is the side that the flow needs to go because the exhaust has to come around over here. What's hitting over here is really shrouded. And it's not really going to escape. It's got to go up and over a lot of turbulence. If it just goes straight, that's better. So this short should be more better. I think this is a worthwhile improvement to do on one of these turbos, uh, particularly like I said in a twin setup to where you can route more gas past the small turbine and into the big turbine where it can be more efficiently used to make boost. I'll get this little arm welded back on there. When I weld this on, I'll clock it so that it can get full travel without hitting its ear here. I can always shorten the turnbuckle, but I can't do anything about that boss. So if you have one of these very common S300 exhaust housings with these dual wastegates and you want to make it better, that's the way you can do it. Uh, just remove the guts out of it, open those ports up. You got to be very careful if you, when you do that, that uh, you don't go too far or you won't be able to get your wastegate sealed and then this housing will be jumped. So 5 eighths is where I stopped. Uh, you might could go bigger, but that's as far as I would definitely want to go. Well, there it is, welded back together. Nice and free. And let's see, got a lot more opening travel than I originally had. Uh, factory won't come up any more than that, so. Well, then I'll get this fixed up a lot better than it was. So, I'd say we've increased the flow. 100% probably, probably double what it was. So that should help a lot on keeping the drive pressures down. This is a 70 AR housing that I'm probably gonna put on that thing because in a twin turbocharged application, the turbine of the little turbo sees the back pressure from the turbine of the big turbo so this will help keep it from getting slowed down and still this turbo won't have to work a whole lot in a twin setup so I can just gate it to the other turbo and let it do its thing. So that'll have to do. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later.